Hi everyone, this is Jonah. Say hi Jonah. Most of you will have heard the story of Jonah and the whale, but over the next six weeks we're going to be digging a bit deeper into who Jonah was and what his story can tell us. God had an important job for Jonah. Get up and go to the great city of Nineveh, God said. Announce my judgment against it because I have seen how wicked its people are. But Jonah got up and went in the opposite direction to get away from the Lord. He went down to the port of Joppa, where he found a ship leaving for Tarshish. He bought a ticket and went on board, hoping to escape from God so he didn't have to do the important job in Nineveh. Nineveh was the capital of the Assyrian Empire, Israel's enemy who did bad things all the time and didn't worship God. God had had enough of their evil ways, so he asked Jonah to go and warn them. If the people of Nineveh didn't turn from their bad ways, they would be punished. Jonah had had lots of practice at hearing from God, so he knew for sure what God was telling him to do. But he chose to ignore it and hope his job from God went away. Nineveh was 500 miles from where Jonah lived. Tarshish was 2,500 miles away, five times as far, and in the complete opposite direction. Jonah was desperate to do the exact opposite of what God had asked him to do. Jonah didn't want to tell his worst enemies about God's love. He didn't think that God should ever forgive them after all the bad things they'd done. Jonah didn't think that they deserved God's kindness at all. If Jonah ran away from God and Nineveh, maybe God would forget about saving the people of Nineveh and punish them like they deserved. So he got on a boat heading far away. It can be easy for us to act a bit like Jonah sometimes, thinking we know best or ignoring what God says we should do. Usually, hearing from God is not a big booming voice like we might expect, or like Jonah heard. Often, God nudges us to do something by putting a kind thought in our head, like, Oh, maybe I should go and help my dad do the washing up. Or, oh, maybe I should say sorry for that mean word I said to my sister. These thoughts can be easy to ignore, especially if we don't really want to do them. But when we listen to them, God loves it. And he's helping us become more like Jesus. Can you think of something you could do today that would make God happy, even though there might be other things that you would prefer to do? Maybe it's doing everything your parents ask you to do, even if you don't really want to. Maybe it's tidying your room without being asked. Maybe it's sharing your favourite toy or game with your sibling just because it's a kind thing to do. Jonah didn't think about what would happen to people in Nineveh or what trouble he could cause by saying no to God. He was being selfish and thought he knew better than God. Join us next week as we look at the next part of Jonah's story and see whether running away from God worked or not.